This video is sponsored by Tenorshare. Today we're going to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on an unsupported laptop. By the way, this is Lenovo ThinkPad X240 and this laptop officially doesn't support Windows 11. However, today I'm going to show you how to do this without any issues. Before we proceed, I would like to let you know that to use this feature of upgrading to Windows 11 on an unsupported hardware, you need to purchase a license. It is what it is and let's get it started. So first of all, you need to navigate to this website for the dictenorshare.com, link up will leave in the video description. And as you can see, we have for the dic partition manager. So we need to scroll down a little bit until you will see free download. So we can click here. After a file will be successfully downloaded on our laptop or PC, you can just install it, nothing complicated, you just need to go through the installation process. And after that, you will get 4D Dick Partition Manager. So now we can run it, double click on it. Yep, here we are in the utility. Today we're going to upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 using special tool inside this software. To use it, we need to move the mouse cursor and here you will see Windows Download and Upgrade. So you can click on it. Actually, we have two options. The first option we can download an ISO and upgrade to Windows 11. So we can click here. In this window, you may see the benefits of upgrading to Windows 11, nothing special. And here you can see Windows 10 will end support in October 2025, which is true. And we can click on detect and upgrade. As you can see, we have a problem because graphic card is not supported. TPM is not supported, but let's try to click on next. English United States will be suitable in my case. Let's click on start upgrading. Click yes to start the upgrade. Also, I will stop recording video from my laptop, but the video will be still recorded from my smartphone. Click on sure. Of course, I want to mention that this process may take some time. It will also depend on your internet speed. Finally, we can install Windows 11. So we need to check this option and click on next. Voila, my friends, we can successfully install Windows 11. We need to accept all terms and conditions. Click here. One more time, it's checking for the latest relevant updates. Now we have a warning message that our PC doesn't support Windows 11. We need to click on accept. Finally, as you can see, we can install Windows 11 and keep our personal files and application. If you have some, click on install. So the process begun. Now you just need to wait, be patient and take your time. So yeah, friends, we successfully upgraded to Windows 11 using 4 dig Partition Manager Utility and it was quite easy. So you do not need to mess with registry, etc. to bypass Windows 11 system requirements. You don't even need to open the command line. We upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 Pro 24H2 version. If you want to, you have an opportunity to use this utility to bypass Windows 11 system requirements. In the end, it's all up to you.